Hi there, my lovelies. Uh, your dollar store Todoroki here today. Uh, I'm sorry if this video looks a little strange. Uh, I'm trying a new spot as well and my tripod doesn't want to work and uh, my glasses broke. So that's fun. So they're uh, up there drying while I try and see. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway, today we are here with another unboxing video. I know that there has been a lot of these coming out and I know I haven't been uploading regularly or normally or anything like that and I feel really really bad and I just I'm gonna get back on track I promise I have like untreated ADHD and like a bunch of other stuff so it's really 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 hard to stay concentrated but I'm trying I'm trying really hard so anyway back onto the topic. I'm working with the lovely people over at Veek or Vike. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. There we go. This model is the VK1200. Lovely, lovely. They have been so nice as to send this to me. They've been so nice to send this to me. And if you go over and check Veek, they're actually having a lot of sales at the moment for the Black uh, Friday and everything. So uh, I don't really know what Black Friday is because I'm Australian. But, you know, big sales and everything like that, you should totally go and check some of that out. Maybe get one for yourself. These tablets, as well as the ones that I've worked with in the past, are fantastic quality. They work super well, and I'm really excited to get into this. Let's go. Okay. So, on the box, as usual, we have all of your usual specs here. Zoom in nice and close for you. Awesome. Okay. Let's get the stickies off. All right, so as like most things you get like this, your drivers will have to be downloaded online uh, where you just go to veekvike.com. Easy as and simple. All right, if I don't have any fingernails, there we go. There's one, stick it right there. All right. I also apologize for how dirty the back of the box is, if you can see it. Um, I am just a gross little goblin person. And I don't really have anything else to stay on that subject. All right, number two. All right, let's give it a flip and a shimmy. And off like that, easy as, okay. So as soon as you open the box, first thing you're gonna see is da -da -da, the tablet. Oh, don't let it slide out. We're going to take that guy and we're going to just pop it right there. Nice and safe. Okay, first thing. Nice bit of cardboard. Keep everything safe. And let's get into the goodies. This looks awesome. Okay. First, we've got your drawing glove. Some lovely ASMR. But these things are amazing. I think I have like five maybe six of these now and I honestly adore them they are so good when you're working on a tablet or an iPad these things are amazing uh, da, 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 da. so I always got to put it on oh this one's like a little tighter I like it it fits good obviously I have a really really tiny pinky finger and it's all right you just flip the top in and you're good to go sick let's go back in all right, I'll give you guys a look at all of the goodies in here before I start diving in. So we've got a nice, ooh, nice little Veek bike cloth. I'm just going to say Veek from now on. I'm very sorry if that's wrong. But nice little cloth where it's got the uh, name right down in the corner. Great for cleaning off the tablet. I'm going to use that to clean my glasses once they're not broken. Um, okay. As well, when we jump in, we've got the little, your little pen display, as well as all of the additional nibs that come with this guy. I'll stretch out and give you guys a look. So there's that. So these will actually, I can, oh, I turned it the wrong way. That doesn't help. There we go. Uh, these will end up in here, obviously all nice, but I'll do that later. Right there, we'll have a nice little show up front here. As well, we have a USB, so a USB, USB to a USB-C cord. So we're gonna have fun figuring that out. Oh, I know why, 
silly me. We've got two USB imports as well as the USB-C, which will then be followed by another. Uh, this is a HDMI cable to they have little plastic covers on them, and that's just, it's like a special funky one that goes into the tablet. I don't know if it has a name. Maybe if I find out the name, I will pop the video, I'll, top, I'll put the name there, I'll put it there. But anyway, we've got two sets of cables here. Obviously, this one would be more for the screen, and this one's for power. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We also have a bunch more nibs. Oh my goodness, look at them all. Look at that little jangly bag. That's awesome. We have heaps. I'm going to put that in there too. Oh, I'll just put it right there. Sweet. We've got a lovely little thank you card as well as where you're going to get your do uh, download your drivers, which I already talked about. Lovely. Pop that right there. Obviously, we have our little quick start guide, which is going to have everything in it. Lovely, beautiful. Let's pop that right there. And look at this, two styluses. How sick is that? I have never seen a tablet come with two styluses and I'm loving it. All right, and they have like these really like, I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but it's like, it's firm, but it's very soft and it's just, it's very nice to the touch. Anyway, let's get this guy out. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Up. Oh. Up close for the camera, we see we've got the lovely little tapered edge, which is lovely to hold. I love them. Uh, we've obviously got the little logo there. You've got your buttons that you can program, your little nib. And I just really like this little silver band that's right here. It has no purpose, but I really like it. All right, let's pop that guy right back in there. Pop that in the box. And then, da 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 da, another one! It's exactly the same. But that's awesome still because I've yet to see a tablet come with two styluses and I'm really loving it. Because then if one breaks, you're swaggy, you're set. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to pop all of these guys just quickly back into here so we can get to the main event. All right. Up to the side. Get this. All right. And here the tablet all right it's a nice size it's about I would say just slightly bigger than an A4 piece of paper obviously which is nice I feel like it's a more transportable uh, tablet obviously it's very it's quite thin as you can see right there uh, you'll be able to see it better in a moment but it's quite thin you would be able to put this in your bag it'd be really easy especially if you're doing like art for school or graphic design or anything like that where you need a tablet Ah, uh, nice idea. All right, let's give it an open. All right, I, oh, that plastic is sticky. Okay, all right. We have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here it is. I'll give a nice close up for you guys to have a look. You can see where my camera is up on my bookshelf. Anyway. So there, and then if we look on the back, we've got a nice uh, metal plating and it has these little rubber stoppers on there. So once it sits down, it is steady. It's not going anywhere. It's really not going anywhere. That's awesome. Anyway, I like that. It's very smooth. It reminds me, it looks kind of like the Samsung tablet or something, which I really like. We've got, obviously, I'll give you guys a better look. We've got all of these programmable buttons down the side which is lovely there's nothing on that side there but we've got the nice metal border around the tablet and then if we come to this side we've got uh, the USB-C port uh, the funky little port that we've got we've also got the power button and a volume bumper I've never seen that on a drawing tablet yeah we've got a volume bumper right here well, that's basically the unboxing and I'm going to grab my laptop and plug this in because I really want to see what it looks like when it's turned on. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. 
All right, so I'm back guys. I've got the tablet set up on my computer. I just downloaded the drivers. Uh, I don't actually do too much research on the tablets before I get them, so everything can be a nice little surprise for me as well. Um, so when I actually set the tablet up, because I kind of pieced it together once I saw the HDMI cables, but this has a screen, which is sick. I love tablets that have screens. So this is an even better investment than I initially thought, which is awesome. Uh, and I was also a bit of a dum-dum, and that's not a volume bumper, it addresses your brightness, which I should have really pieced together at this point, but you know, I'm not always all there. Anyway, so yeah, I've got that set up, everything's all plugged in nice, uh, you can obviously see I've got my little setup here, you can see that I'm running uh, Windows, obviously this is a Mac computer, but the Mac hardware, perfect, Mac OS, Eh, we'll always prefer Windows. Anyway, let's grab one of these pens and let's see what we can get going. All right, let's see if I could... Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, I should really probably f film the screen. Filming the screen would be a great idea. Let's do that <laughs> right now. Okay, all right, so I'm recording the screen now. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a little box probably in this corner here just showing the screen so it's easier for you guys. Uh, so obviously we can see that the pen is working and we can adjust the sensitivity and see how many, look how many levels that is, almost 9,000. But we've got that, obviously I'm gonna keep these the way they are because I like them. Let it open my art program. I use a Psy when I'm not using my iPad. I usually use Procreate, which is usually my go-to, but you know, okay. So. All right, so I've just set up a basic um, canvas there. I didn't really look at the details. Anyway, because we're just going to give this a go for now. Uh, so let's have a look. I haven't used Psy in a while. Let's stick with the line art brush. I really should be looking at this, but I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment and I'm really not used to tablets with screen. That's a lie. I draw on an iPad. I'm totally used to this. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Let's, all right. Okay, so straight off the bat, we can see that it does have the lovely little tapering edge. We've don't have to worry about the pen uh, sensitivity, which is great. So let's get rid of those guys. I'm gonna adjust the brightness on here. There we go, just to try and match it to the computer screen, which that looks fairly good. Let's change the colors up a bit. Oh, I zoomed out. All right, cool. Uh, being a left-hander, all of the buttons are on the left-hand side, the programmable ones which obviously if you're left-handed can be a little bit awkward because you're obviously always bumping into the numbers, but um, you can flip it around. Every tablet you can program it to be the other way around, but I'm just not doing that right now because this is my first go of this guy. So we're just gonna keep playing with what I've got. All right, so let's make a thicker line. I don't know, let's, let's draw something. Now I never said that I was the best artist, especially when it comes to new products. So we're going to just have a little bit of fun together. Obviously this isn't the best drawing I've ever done and it will not be the worst either. You know, that's the whole fun part of it is that we're learning together. Now if you already know who this is, I like you. But if you don't, that's alright too, but you should probably start watching anime. Anyway, that looks a lot like Zuko, but it's not. Anyway, alright, cool. Let's, I don't know, just give it some color. I know I'm watching you guys, you guys, I'm making you guys just watch me scribble and draw awfully, but you know, 
It's fine, it's fine. We're having bonding time. Anyway, so let's... Now, I don't know if you guys are going to trust me on buying a tablet when my art is like that. So, you know, but I will uh, show you guys some of my other art so you know that I'm not lying to you. Anyway, look at that. We've got a little... Let's give him a na Let's give him his name. Shoto... Todoroki. And you can bet you're behind that straight after this, I'm going to go read chapter 292. So, uh... I'm a weeb. Anyway, so, uh... Obviously, there is a nice little test for you guys to see that the screen works. It is nice. Obviously, I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit to make it perfect. Obviously, get into all of my personal settings and whatnot. But straight off the bat, just plugging it in and going straight down. I didn't even have to restart my computer or anything. I just installed the drivers, plugged it in, opened my program, and I was good to go. Which is awesome, especially if you are on a time crunch or if you have to... You know, you're on a, you can't actually choose what computers you're working on because you're at school or something like that. This is awesome. I really, really appreciate it. And I really, really appreciate Vike for uh, reaching out to me and letting me play with their products. It is an absolutely fantastic experience and I'm really loving this. Uh, I don't know if I should do a speed paint and like upload that for you guys. So you guys can have a look, see some like proper art instead of me just scribbling anime characters, but you know. We'll see what we can do. Anyway, I'm going to move on over to the voiceover part of this video where I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the product, uh, where you can find it, as well as prices. And make sure that you do check out Vike because they are having a great sale this weekend and it would really be beneficial for you guys. So yeah, I'll leave all the links down in the description and let's get over to the voiceover. Love yous. Okay, and let's get on to the voiceover part of this where I talk about the pros and cons about this product. With the Vike tablet, or Veek, I still don't know how to pronounce it, but here we go with the pros and cons. I actually had a really hard time finding cons for this product, which is awesome, you always want that. So uh, let's dive into the lengthy list of pros first. First of all, I love the size of it. I love that it is travel sized, a lot easier than uh, carrying around something that's like the size of one of those big Cintiqs or anything, which is nice. I love the screen that's actually on the tablet. Like I love tablets like that. Uh, I like them a lot more than I like, obviously your solid just drawing space where you look at the computer more so than you look at the actual tablet itself. Uh, the cords aren't like huge and chunky and they're like, they're not, in the way when you've set up at the computer, which is really nice. It's like very neat and very organized. And I really enjoy it. Um, it's really, really easy to set up and it's really, it's kind of like a plug and play kind of thing. You just download the driver, plug it in and you're good to go. Uh, I had to calibrate it because the, uh, what is it? The little cursor wasn't exactly where the pen was, but that was like sorted within not even two minutes. I literally just went to the calibration settings on the program, uh, redid the little process, and then I was done. And it was good and it was perfect. And I really, really appreciate that. Uh, obviously you only need one driver, which is awesome. Uh, you can rotate the screen. Like I was saying before, you can do it. So you could do zero, 90, 180 degrees, whatever you want. Uh, the screen has a really nice texture to it. It's like not, it's smooth, but it's like, you can, you can hear, you can hear what I mean when you put the stylus to the screen itself. I really enjoy like the sound. It's very ASMR-y. It came with two styluses, which is awesome in case you lose one or one breaks. That is amazing. And I really love that. It's a very nice touch. Uh, it also came with a bunch of goodies in the box, like I showed before. It came with the glove, uh, the little stand, two styluses, uh, the little screen wipe down. It was awesome. Uh, Vike Veek is also a fantastic company. They've been awesome to work with. And like, I really should have uploaded this video a little earlier for Black Friday, but my computer decided to be awful and basically take forever with converting all my files, which was pretty sucky, but that's on me. Um, I really, really appreciate them working with me. Uh, they have great prices, great products, and I'm really, really happy that they chose me to be one of the people that helps uh, talk about their products. And yeah, great price as well. 
Now, finally moving on to the cons. I actually only have two here on my little list. Um, so basically, when I first plugged in the tablet, I had a little bit of difficulty matching the color of the screen to what was on my laptop, which then I found out was what that little brightness bar on the side was. And after fiddling around with it, it was like perfect. It was matching pretty much 100% to what my computer screen had, which was awesome. It wasn't, it didn't take me forever. I didn't have to Google anything. Like I literally just fiddled around and then boom, I was ready to go. Uh, the only other thing that I could say for cons, and it's not even a con, it's just a suggestion I feel, is if you've got a tablet like that that has a screen, maybe like a little stand, like not obviously not something extra because money and all that, but like those little like pullout stands that you have on the back of like the original Nintendo Switches, you know what I mean? Like the little pullback thing and it sits up. I feel like that might be a good idea for some people who prefer drawing on a uh, tilted screen rather than flat down. Um, other than that, I couldn't really find anything else that I disliked about the product. It works well, it's really easy to set up. I had a ball and I cannot be more thankful for uh, Veek for uh, actually reaching out and wanting me to be a part of it. Uh, so those are all the pros and cons. Make sure that you do uh, check out the website. They've got a lot of sales going on right now for the Black Friday like weekend sales and everything like that, which is really cool. I'll leave all of the necessary links and everything down in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, I really would recommend this for anyone who is a beginner drawer who likes uh, screens on products so you don't have to keep moving your concentration back and forth between a laptop or a computer and the tablet itself. It's, I always just feel it's a little nicer. It just helps you keep your concentration on one thing at a time. But yeah, make sure you check out the website, check out all of the links and everything. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see all you guys in my next video. Love yous.